So I'm a big fan of the trail guide because I like three layer knives and I really like the saw slash file. But the problem with the trail guide is it doesn't have the small blade on it. They throw on one of these guys, combo tool, which is fine, but small blade is really nice. And then the trail guide also has a corkscrew, not a Phillips. So the other thing that's sort of close to this if you took the scissors off and added the opener layer would be the automobile special, which is a pretty neat knife. I built one of those for my son. So I want to do something a little different. Again, I really like the, the trail guide, but I wanted a Phillips. I wanted to throw the screwdrivers on the bottom. Plus the, the only trail guides I ever see are, are the Marlboro ones, which I mean, they're all right, but like spending a bunch of money on something that's got a Marlboro logo on it just bothers me for some particular reason. So I just haven't pulled the trigger on one. Some guy was selling like new ones for six, $65. Kind of regret not buying them because they do come with a plus scale. So, and a combo tool, it's a pretty good bargain, quite frankly. Um, there are some other cool three layers out there, like this one called the Clipper, which um, take the scissors off and add the opener layer. And you put the corkscrew on, you got a Clipper, and then the Automobile Special, which is the other one, the other version of that. So anyway, that's kind of neat. So I'm happy with that. Need to throw some scales on that. Uh, may get some plus scales. I haven't quite decided yet. And I haven't really built anything with scissors. I usually remove the scissors. So I want to do something a little different. Now, as far as the saw slash file goes, I think it's a neat tool because not only can you use, use it as a screwdriver, like my son will actually use this. He's got an old car on his carburetor because it fits through the lines. But it's like a finger file. Like if you ever use, I think that's what these things are called. These small files. So if you're ever messing around with something, you cut a bolt, uh, you can actually just hold it on and work. So it's nice. So this is the old version though. They made this up until uh, 2005, roughly, according to the SAK Wiki. And you can see the, the pattern on there. And apparently this is a, it's a case hardened steel. So it's like coarse, or I should say hard on the outside, but flexible on the inside. So it won't snap. And then they had to, they had to chrome plate it. That's why it's shiny. So they switched that in 2005 with the stainless version, which as you can see is a lot more aggressive. So it's an interesting trade off the new saw blade because this hands down cuts better than this. Not that you're going to grab either as your first choice if you're cutting metal. But this one is definitely going to work much better for cutting. Now, as far as filing goes, well, then it comes down to what you're actually doing. If you need to remove a bunch of material quickly, this is going to work better than this. But if you're working with something finer and you're slowly working it, which is typically how you file, right? You, you want to take a little bit off at a time, especially if you're working with a small file like this. This, personally, I think works better. It's going to take you longer, but you can be a little more precise with it. So it's kind of a neat tool. So I don't know. It's it's a tough call. I originally was going to throw this one on, and I ended up throwing this one on. Not because I thought it through. I did it by accident. But I'm happy. I'm actually happy this one ended up on there. I mean, I could still rip it apart, but I think I'm going to stick with the old one. So... Um, I don't know. I, I like this. I'm hoping it uh, is as cool as I think now in like a few weeks, but throw some scales on there. See how it goes. Anyway, that's all I got. Hope you like that one.